guys, it's me, Christina. I am back with another video today. Yes, I know I am on a roll. I'm so proud of myself and I hope you guys are proud of me too. I am coming to you today with a current favorites video. So I'm not one to do monthly favorites because I don't usually have new favorites every month. I think I've said this in a previous video before and I decided I don't want to do monthly favorites. I'm just going to do a current favorites whenever I find that I have, you know, a good group of items that I'm starting to really, really love. I do have a mix of fashion and beauty and I find that I'm a creature of habit. So when I like find a concealer or a highlighter that works just amazingly I pretty much stick with it for a long while until I find something new and that's really rare don't forget to subscribe to my channel I know you stopped by and obviously you want to see this face again so go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hit the bell somewhere on this page I still don't know where it's at but the notification bell will definitely let you know when I post a new video but yeah that's pretty much it um, like this video so I know that you like this content I I just really want to know what you guys want to see. Makeup, my sneakers, lookbooks, hauls, favorites videos. I just want to know what you guys like so I can give it to you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, comment down below any of your favorites from this video, ideas, anything. Let's just get some conversation going down in the comments. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First favorite are, are these chokers, these like, I guess, rhinestone bling-in type of chokers. Obviously, they're not real, but these two I got, this one I got from Forever 21, this one I got from Charlotte Russe. This came in a pack, I think, but I only got the pack because I really, really like this. So, yeah, they're just rhinestones. I feel that these can be a little doing too much, but I don't know. It just makes a lot of outfits. I wear this dressed up or dressed down because I think it's just a nice pop, a nice accessory. Next of my favorites would be sunglasses now we're getting into spring and summer so sunglasses are going to be all over the place but i've noticed a trend of the tinted i don't want to like blind you guys from the glare but the tinted sunglasses i'll link the um video up in the corner so you can go watch that that's my weekend lookbook that i did last week and i featured a pair of sunglasses in there that were super dope like I, I, bought, I think I bought those at Nordstrom's and when I tried them on I was like I have to get these they're a pair of sunglasses that I have never you know had before style that I've never had before so I definitely wanted those and then I had stopped by Forever 21 to see if they had these sunglasses because they're pretty trendy right now and I guess you would call them the like tinted sunglasses I mean I think they're really really dope they remind me of like the 70s so you guys might be blinded by the glare, but yeah, these are how they look. These are super cheap. Right? These were, I think, like 7 bucks at Forever 21. The key ones are a little more expensive because they're better quality, but definitely these tinted sunglasses are another thing that I have been into lately. Uh, when it comes to beauty stuff, I really don't try new things, but when I find something that I really, really like, I pretty much stick to it, like I said in my intro. So the first few things that I want to share with you guys are things that I featured in my videos before. You've seen that I've used this. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love this. I've tried the Naked Concealer. I've tried the Tarte Shape Tape, and those just never work out for me. I end up returning them because... I try them out and I don't know if I'm using too much product on my under eye, but I, I put like three dots, which is not much. And it just doesn't, it comes out cakey. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If I'm applying it wrong, help me guys. Leave that in the comments below. I'll probably try it again later on, but I always find myself going back to the drugstore instant Maybelline Age Rewind. This stuff is lightweight. It has the coverage. I don't have major eye bags, so I don't have to really cover up but this has decent coverage it blends easily yeah I love this thing so these are the Ardell 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 lashes and um, I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm wearing them on my eyes right now if I want to go for a more dramatic look I actually stack them or just add a natural lash on top of them and they look so cute but for a natural look um, I really really like these for every day. A lot of people like the Demi Wispies, but I find that on my eye shape They really don't do anything for me. They look Yeah, they really just don't do anything for me. They don't give me any kind of flare They don't do anything to my eyes So the Wispies are the way to go. The next product that I wanted to share is actually a perfume So I got the smaller size in this because when it comes to perfumes 
I don't like to commit to it for so long because I, if I end up not liking it after a few months, then I don't feel as bad. So this is the Versace Bright Crystal. This thing smells amazing. I would definitely say it's a... You can wear this day and night. Yeah, you can definitely wear this day and night, but, but it's more of a mature scent. Um, I like wearing this when I go out at night, and it's really, really cute. It's like a cute little bottle, and the it's pink. I don't know the notes, <laughs> so I can't really describe it. I wish you guys can smell just how good it is, but uh, I will leave like the description in the bottom bar below, and I'll put a link to all these products so you can find it, but trust me, it smells amazing. Um, Next thing that I want to share is this Smashbox contour palette. And the only reason I want to share this with you guys is because I feel like I haven't heard about this. It's underrated, but it's amazing. I've had this. I, I got this when contouring first was a thing or right before it hit. This is the contour palette from Smashbox. It comes with a contour bronze and highlight shade. So the contour shade is actually perfect because it's more of a gray tone so it creates more of a natural shadow this bronze shade is perfect on my skin tone um, just to give me some color when I put on my foundation and I lose it and then this banana shade is great to set under the eyes I don't know if you guys can see it I swatched it right there but it's like a nice smooth banana color this stuff is amazing as you can see I've hit pan on these two I've had this for five years and I always find myself going back to this because it just has everything I need. The product is amazing, it's very smooth, and the color is just right for me. I'm pretty sure they have other colors for different skin tones, but this one works for me. And initially when I bought this, this was the only shade. So, But I know for sure that they've come out with different shades. I love this thing for travel. It's like sleek, it's small, it has everything you need. And the last product that I want to share with you guys, or beauty product I want to share with you guys, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Collaboration Palette. I can't rave about this enough. I was actually stalking when this was coming out. I watch Nicole Guerrero on YouTube, so when she announced the whole collaboration, I was so juiced about it. And um, when she had mentioned on her Snapchat that Sephora was actually selling this early, um, but you would have to ask like an associate. I was like, uh, yes. Luckily, they had a few left. I literally went there when they opened. So they had a few left and I got mine a few days early. I'm not going to go into too depth with this because there's so many reviews and swatches of this, but if you guys don't have it, y'all need it because it's just amazing. It's perfect for different skin tones and what I like about it is that it's a little different. It has like pinkier shades which are super pretty. I've pretty much fallen in love with Forever Young and Glow Getter. I'm wearing Forever Young on my cheeks right now. Mm, I can't even. I don't know if the light's like not allowing you to see it but I mean, you, you can see I put it on my cheekbones, I put it on the tip of my nose, and then I put it on my inner corner just now. Okay, enough. Y'all need this. I love it. It's one of my favorites this month. It's probably going to be my favorite highlighter, highlighter palette for a long time. Last favorite, I forgot I had to feature a pair of shoes, is this pair of shoes. So these are the green gazelles that I featured in my Adidas nike haul and i've been wearing these religiously like these are so comfy and i just like that pop of green it's so cool but yeah this is the last of my favorites i wanted to uh thank you guys for sticking with me and watching till the end of this video i love you guys and yeah i will see you guys in the next one